From Tampa Bay Screening News Leader, brought to you by AlertTodayFlorida.com, this is ABC Action News. It'll be another beautiful spring day across the Bay Area today. Greg D has your full weather forecast coming up. I'm Jasmine Stiles, and here are your ABC Action News headlines. It's day five of jury selection in the John John Chuck murder trial. He's accused of killing his five-year-old daughter in 2015 by throwing her off a of Pinellas County bridge. The court may need to bring in more potential jurors. Attorneys want 70, but have only chosen 66 to move to the next round of questioning. Lakeland's controversial Confederate statue will finally be removed from a city park today. County commissioners are using money collected from red light cameras to pay for the relocation. They'll put the statue in storage for a few days until it can be installed at Veterans Memorial Park. The parents of Jennifer Kessie are getting the Orlando Police Department's records in the investigation into their daughter's disappearance. Kessie, who grew up in Tampa, vanished in 2006. Rather, her parents sued Orlando Police to get the records. They still hope someone will come forward and bring them closure. And we ask you to step forward. We know more than one person knows what's happened here. We, uh, we know that. I know. And we just have to touch the one heart. It's 13 years plus later. Just give Jennifer the chance, not us, not her brother. Kessie's parents say this could be their best chance to learn what happened to their daughter. And if you still haven't paid some past tolls you racked up during last summer's outage, time is running out. The deadline is March 31st. If you don't meet it, you'll have to pay some late fees. When South Florida woman was shocked when she opened her SunPass invoice last month, she owed $1,500. Vicki Tay called SunPass over and over and over without getting a response. So she put in a call to the governor's office. They have a whole department to deal with consumer complaints and they, they took all my information. They sent that information down to our local DOT down here in Palm Beach County. After calling the governor's office, the DOT got back to her and reduced that bill to $76. If you're in a similar situation, you can file a dispute online at sunpass.com using the unpaid tolls link. And this afternoon, the University of South Florida Board of Trustees is expected to select a new president to lead the school. The four finalists are Rutgers Vice Chancellor Wanda Blanchett, SMU Vice President Steve Corral, former Rutgers Chancellor Diva Dutta, and former Old Miss Chancellor Jeffrey Vitter. And now let's get a look at weather with Greg. Looks really nice out there, Jasmine. A great day today after a chilly start earlier. We've got temperatures in the 70s. One little word of caution here. If you've got plans after uh, work today or maybe later this evening after 6 o'clock, you'll need a jacket or a sweatshirt. These temperatures are going to cool off very quickly. You may catch a chill by 9, 10 o'clock uh, just being out there. Saturday will be the chilliest morning widespread across the region in the last week. But the afternoon's already going to be warming into the mid to upper 70s. And Sunday, not as chilly in the morning. Sunday Sunny skies with temperatures pushing 80 degrees by the afternoon. Rain next week is possible. Your seven day forecast right now at ABCActionNews.com. Jasmine. Thanks, Greg. You can now get your news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device. And don't forget to download the free ABC Action News mobile app to receive breaking news alerts. This ABC Action News update is brought to you by AlertTodayFlorida.com. Drivers, pass bicyclists safely. Allow a minimum of three feet between you and a bicyclist because safety doesn't happen by accident.